ladies and gentlemen, this is not a drill. Hello, my fellow Dream Chasers, Kenzie Retro here. And it's finally time for F1 2021. Now, I've been a little bit under the radar in regards to F1 this year. But nevertheless, the podium pass is live. I'm already at tier 30, already working towards prestige, which isn't really that big a surprise. And as you can see, 30,000 XP to get to prestige level 1. That's more reasonable compared to the 90,000 towards the end of the last game. But nevertheless, I'm not here to do podium pass. I'm here to reach the breaking point. Let's go challenging. I'm not going to waste any time. Let's go... Let's go Aston Martin. We're going to be beginning in 2020. There's Racing Point. Let's get my assists up. The assist on. Uh, keep it automatic for the time being. Because I'll be, I'll be doing manual for my league racing. change here apart from the assists and the uh, simulation settings. But this is the mode that I've been highly anticipating, the breaking point story. My team's back, but here we go. Prologue. With the 2019 Formula 2 Championship coming down to the final race of the season, young British driver Aiden Jackson is looking to etch his name into the history books. And it's starting at the 2019 F2 season. Because by this point, an Devin incredible Butler. race! Look at it! Every driver is being so aggressive! Check it out! They'll all be feeling the pressure right now. None more so than young Aiden Jackson from Carlin. That's right. Rumors from the paddock talk about a possible future for Jackson in Formula One. And with only a few laps to go, this is still anyone's race. The atmosphere here is electric, and we couldn't have asked for a better finish to the F2 season here in Abu Dhabi. Here we go. Okay, Aiden, you're doing great. Keep focused. You know what to do. Copy that. The goal is simple. Finish first to win the championship. I have to win the race. Uh, Seti Kamara ahead of me. Hey, hold! Oh, wait, wait a minute! Hey, hold, diddly do! Look who's ahead of me! It's our Lord and Savior, Mahavir Ragunathan! That's it, Lord Mahavir. Just get out of the way! I've got a championship to win. Because by this point, Devin Butler's already in Formula One. And he is 
he'll be finishing his first season in F1 because Devin Butler in 2019 made his debut in the 2018 F2 season. There's Nicholas Lucifi, he would go on to be part of the Williams team in the 2020 season. He's still on the grid today. But the driver that I miss most on the uh, on the grid, on the F2 side of things especially, is the man that I need to overtake to win the championship, Luca Giotto. He does, he did have enough super license points to be eligible for a seat in Formula 1. I mean, he's got, he's got the potential. But it's good, it's good that he's still racing. So the three, the three main stars of the show are Aiden Jackson, Casper Aikerman, and of course, and I'm not kidding, this is word for word from the press release, the much maligned Devin Butler! And I've just put it into the wall. Oh, first time for everything. I will see this, and there it is, there's my first achievement, erase the past, use the flashback to rewind time. I've got two achievements down. Two achievements down, talking of which, only another- HOW MANY MORE TO GO?! 48 to go! For the 1000 gamer score. So that's, on average, 20 gamer score per achievement. Oh, here we go. Jackson on the inside of the hairpin. Oh, and he's through. He's only gone and got through. And he's now leading the race. Let's go, Jackson. Come on. No silly mistakes now. Just focus on finishing the race. It's an exciting week for Formula One fans because not only do we have this game coming out, the regular edition of the game coming out on Friday, because I'm playing with the Deluxe Edition, I'm recording this on the day of the release of the Deluxe Edition, July 13th, July 16th is when it comes out for the regular edition of the game, and on top of that, it's Silverstone this week as well, so don't be too surprised if I'm talking about the Formula 1 during these uh, videos. There wasn't much in the way of marketing from my perspective anyway in regards to uh, the game this year. But I think that's understandable given the current circumstances. England thankfully are going to be coming out of lockdown hopefully forever and never back in again. Uh, this is your final lap, final lap of the race. Cheers Jeff. Uh, July 19th next week. See? Does it? Does it? Does it? Points to go. See? Ah, ladies and gentlemen, a man who knows no fear, and a man who is sorely missed on the F2 challenge, and a man. I'm going to be coming up to lap very, very short. Sean Galeo. Bruh. So this is 25% race distance by the looks of it. I could have switched it to hard to make it a little more challenging for myself. But there we go. Thank you, Sean. Look at that, I'm already seven seconds ahead of Kyoto. There's a further three seconds ahead of Latifi. That is going to be the podium. Round the last couple of corners, Aiden Jackson is going to etch his name into the Formula 2 history books as the latest superstar. 
to win the Formula 2 Championship and he wins in Abu Dhabi. Fantastic work, Aiden. Great drive, mate. Congratulations. Many. Yes! First place, enjoy the podium. And he's done it. Jackson's done it. Aiden Jackson wins the I miss Davide Balsetti on commentary. What a win for Jackson. What a win. And he couldn't have gone to a better oh. magnificent Showing huge Point potential. He got on the podium. That's another four down, 46 to go. Point and trophies. Trophy yet he's been hunting. Point and trophies. Trophy yet he's been hunting. Aiden Jackson. An amazing race and a fantastic win for this incredible driver. Indeed. After this, I guarantee that Jackson will be the hot topic in more than a few upcoming F1 team meetings. The future's definitely bright for this young driver. There's the racing point boss. Now, it's going to be different. Somebody might go for Alpha Tari. Somebody might go for... Um, Points and Haas. trophies. Trophy, hunting. Points and trophies. Trophy, hunting. Five down, 45 to go. And I did go through the achievement list last night, and I am going for completion in this game. I'm going to be getting all the achievements. Aiden, now you've made the leap to Formula One, no surprise to anyone who's been watching your career. How does it feel to be on the verge of getting behind the wheel for your first race? To be honest with you, Will, it hasn't really quite sunk in yet. The team has given me a fantastic opportunity. It's a once in a lifetime, a dream come true. So to answer your question, I feel like a little kid. <laughs> I look around and I'm surrounded by my heroes, you know? I've even had to pinch myself a couple of times. So I would as well. Yeah, it, it can be a bit overwhelming, but out on the track, the speed, the noise, even the smell, it's all the same. I just hope my driving is too. And what about Casper Ackerman? Are you intimidated at all Kasper having Ackerman. such a seasoned and experienced driver as your first teammate in Formula One? I th How's that relationship? I think there in? needs to be more story moments. I've like always this. looked up to Casper as someone to aspire to. Growing up as a kid, his pictures all over my bedroom walls, you know? <laughs> the dream was always to be Casper. But as it turns out, I'll be racing alongside Casper which is good enough for me. I get to learn from the best. Besides, every legend has to start somewhere, right? You got a point there. Aiden, just wondering if we can get your reaction to the obvious comparisons that are being made between you and another F1 driver. Much like you, he made the transition from F2 to F1 last season. Oh, it's Claire. What do you say to the press here and to your fans who are calling you the new Devon Butler? <laughs> What? The new Devon Butler. I'm alright with that. Does that mean we could lose the old one? <laughs> you come over well. They like you. I don't know what you were worried about. Thanks. You know, everything's going to be fine out there today. I just know it. Just do what you did in F2. Easy. Thanks, Brian. I won't let you down. So that's the boss, Brian. That's the boss. I will say I have watched a couple of YouTubers, Arava and Tiet Matt Marduk. Um, they're gonna, um, they've been doing. Um, they managed to get the first hour of. Um, Breaking point up on on their channels last week, and that was as far as they could go as far as uploading from this game is concerned, but nevertheless, here we go. And hey, hey, ho, look goes here! Matthew Gallagher from WTF1. Well, it's here, a new F1 season. I feel like we've been waiting all year for this. Oh, Brian's got, Brian's calling me, bear with me. Hello. Aiden, are you in your room? Oh, hey Brian, yeah, I'm in my room. Good, well have a look around, I hope you like it. Should be everything you need in there. News feeds, social media. Hey, it's hooked up to the lot. Just do me a favour, eh? Go on. Make sure you check your emails. I think there's a message in there for you. Oh, right. Thanks, Brian. Take a breather, do what you need to do, 
and I'll see you before the race. Got it. Nice one. Let's see who else we've got. Uh, you have been waiting all year for this. <laughs> F1 big fan, can't wait to see it. Da, da, da. Oh, there's the scumbag himself, Devin Butler. Oh, Mumsy's calling. Hello. Hello. Hello, love. How's it going? All right, Ma. Yeah, it's going all right. I'm just getting ready. I saw your interview. And? You need a haircut. <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, thanks, okay. I guess. But aside from that, you were great. I'm so proud of you, Aiden. I know, Ma. Thanks. I wish I could be out there with you. This is everything you've worked towards. Yeah, I know, but you'll be at the next one. Just do what you do, and everything will be great. Thanks, Ma. And remember, mirror signal maneuver. And always stick to the speed limit. Great advice. I'm all over it. <laughs> I know you are, love. I'll speak to you later. Good luck. Bye. Let's see what let's see what this arrogant scumbag's gotta say. I'm sure he'll be great as uh although he's racing with the big boys. Ah, uh, Leopards never change their spots, what can I say? Ah, now say Pikmin. Jimmy Broadbent! What's he doing here? My alarm didn't go off! Wouldn't wouldn't have wouldn't have would not have been a happy boy if I missed the start. What time is it? <laughs> and oh there he is! DC! David Coulthard! Carting display area. Oh, okay. Hey! Talking about Arava, there he is! Is it too early to call it for Mercedes? Hmm, no. Alright, let's see what we've got here. Let's see, there we go. Let's go. Ah, here we go. No, I've got myself a reward already. And it goes towards the podium pass. Yes. Right. Let's not waste any time. Let's get breaking points underway. With the world watching and expectations high at racing point, F1 rookie Aiden Jackson appears to be holding his own in his maiden race in Melbourne. With the possibility of a points finish, he keeps focused on the race in front of him. Here we go. And we're getting straight into the race. Here we go. Nine laps to go. A solid start, Aiden. Let's try and push it further. Copy that. Uh, where's Casper? He's up ahead. Let's try and bring you two closer together. Got it. Let's roll. Catch Aiden before lap 11. Actually, what I need to do, settings, uh, controls, that's what I need, uh, keyboard, edit. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change that to uh, unbind and do that. And unbind and do that. There we go. Um. Right, easy enough. Keep 
on the throttle. That's wrong. There's Ricardo. Easy. And obviously you can't purchase the prestige tiers because come on, that would be too easy. Casper's in P10 at the moment. Good to know. Catching by Lapalella, which I should be able to do with that much difficulty. There's a there's a lot more emphasis this year on the um, there's going to be a lot more emphasis here on the ERS management. The traction is a lot more unforgiving this year. Oh, easy! Oh my word, careful! Whoa! See, see, see what I mean there? It's a lot more unforgiving. Having to... Whoa! Son of a mother! Oh, I lost a lot of ground. I lost a lot of ground. I dread going through the infamous turn 12. You're four places down on Casper. Dad, no! As much as I'd like to minimize how much I'm using the flashback. No. So there was reduced downforce this year, so it's gonna make so no surprise from that, it's gonna make things a lot more. Okay, good game. work, great pass. That's how it's done! And now look us ahead of me, George Russell. Come on, let's go. Let's see what we can do. I wonder who's in between Russell and Ackerman. Had to lift ever so slightly. Right, DRS. Casper's in P10 at the nice. moment. Nice. Oh, goody, goody gumdrops. It's the scumbag himself, Mr. Devon Butler. Wasn't quite in DRS detection zone. What else can you do? The gap between you and the car behind is increasing by a significant amount each lap. Good job. Good to know. Oh, Devon! Look who's behind you! Whee! You're closing oh, in on Casper now, Aiden. Good sent job. Sent it, my boy! Casper is directly ahead of you. And that's the problem with turn 12. Actually, let's see if we can go into photo mode here. Yep. Gotta get a couple of shots here. I got to get a couple of shots. I think there's no achievement for photo mode this year. It'll probably be a challenge in, um, what's its name? Podium pass. Here we go. What a brilliant Australian Grand Prix this has been, but there's still plenty of time for more drama. 
There certainly is, Crofty. And these two have been fighting each other in And again, they're using anti so games. So Why are they, they not using Martin Bundle? Or at the very least, Alex Bundle. Because he's, on the he's got a too. voice that's very similar to him. Aiden Casper's not your priority. We need you to defend. Uh, it's okay. I've got this. Are you sure that's a wise thing to be doing at this early stage in your career? Get off! Oh! oh no! Is he okay? It's Casper okay. He'll be fine, he's heading for the pits now. You just got Oh no! And there we have it, so I'm sure there's gonna be fireworks in the racing point garage this evening. That would be an understatement. Crofty for sure. Look, it was a late move from Devon Butler, but you never want to see two teammates make contact, and Ackerman will surely be seething at that one. Absolutely, and I'll tell you who else isn't going to be happy too. Aiden Jackson, not how his F1 race debut should have gone. The damage appears to be minor. How's it feeling, Aiden? <laughs> yeah, car's okay. Understood. See how well you can do out there. A little bit, he'd be a little bit Copy. shaken up, and no wonder. All I need to do is finish the race now, that's all I need to do. Scoring position. Not like that. Not like that, that's what's in. The gap behind us is 7.6 seconds. What I'm actually going to do on screen, what I'm going to do on screen now, folks, is what I'm going to do is... We're starting to catch the car in front, but we need to look after the tyres. We won't be making another pit stop. Gap to teammate behind is 27.4 seconds. Copy. As I was saying... Uh, what I'm going to be doing is, uh, on screen, I'm going to be showing the, um, uh, what, uh, like the engine supplies, the sponsors, what, what goals I'm going to be going for as far as the sponsor goals is concerned, and, uh, if there's any, um, uh, in regards to the sliders, whether you, whether I want to make the game easier or more difficult for myself, um, I'll let, I'm going to let you guys take control of that one. Uh, you guys are going to pick the uh, engine supplier. You guys are going to pick the uh, sponsor goals. Whether the, whether we want them to be balanced or high risk or low risk, and what the sliders are going to be. let you guys be in charge of that. You guys are going to be the board of directors. Does he have damage? Does he have damage? Force him against the wall. Onto the girls with black. Okay, 
It is a real shame that we're not gonna be! At the uh, Australian Grand Prix this year. But at least it gives them more time to uh, finalise resurfacing the track. There we go, P9. One lap to go. Let's hope some get to the finish. Do I be really cheeky and go for an extra couple of points? Too far back. One or two more laps, then yeah, maybe. But too far back. I've got Norris and Butler out of DRS range. Hamilton wins the race, no big surprise there. I'll take P9. That's it for another Grand Prix and a fantastic win for Mercedes. What a start to the season this has been. A fascinating race here in Australia at. The top teams as ever continue to push the boundaries of the sport, and it'll be interesting to see how the new racing point driver Aidan Jackson settles in, especially after that early incident involving his teammate. Well, we've certainly seen rivalries born from less. Suffice to say, if you came into the 2020 season hoping for a bit of drama, it looks like you won't be disappointed. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. Bang, bang. 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 Post race, an awkward incident involving Devin Butler and his own teammate Casper Ackerman marred Jackson's maiden outing in F1. Let's see the fallout from this. I'm going to be doing one chapter per video, by the way, Casper, folks. Listen, I don't know what happened out there. It wasn't my fault. Well, whose fault was it then? Who was the idiot behind the wheel of your car? Hmm? You're pathetic. You won't even admit when you made a mistake. I'm... How did they ever sign you? Yikes. Oh. Butler. 
Um, Devon, I didn't see you there. I what, like, out on the track today? You nearly took me out, mate. Look, it was I warranted. You tried to force me into the wall. Next thing I knew, Castle was out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mate, I was nothing to do with it. Whatever that was, that was all on you. Don't be trying to pass the blame because you haven't sailed in yet. Yikes. Sorry, Aiden. Just bear with us one sec. No problem. You seem to find your feet quite quickly after you graduated from Formula 2. What advice would you give to Jackson in his first season? Well, stay out of my way mostly. <laughs> and uh, taking out your own teammate isn't something I would make a habit of. Almost ready, Aiden. We're just checking audio levels. Uh, sure. Seriously, Casper must be wondering what on earth Racing Point were thinking. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Thanks, Devin. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I have a feeling at some point team, there's gonna be a point where they're either battling for the championship or they end up as teammates at some point. Noble. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, mm -hmm. it's Brian. Brian. Talk to me. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Listen, what happened out there today? I had it all under control and then... Look, let's not go through all that now. We'll talk about it at the debrief. Right, yeah. I was actually talking about your little running with Casper and Butler over in the paddock. Ooh. Oh, wow. News travels fast. The paddock talks, Aiden. Besides, I've got ears like a hawk. Listen, Butler's a clown. The man's ego is bigger than a... No, I've got nothing. <laughs> Don't give it a second thought. Thanks, Brian. The Casper? <laughs> yeah, so he can get a little hot-headed, especially after a race. But you have got to work with him. That manoeuvre today... Wasn't my fault, Brian. It probably cost us points. I'll level with you. A lot of people on the team are disappointed, Aiden. And I'll be saying as much to Casper. Now, learn from it and move on. But you can't let it happen again. I'll see you at the debrief. Got it. Let's see who. So. There's Corinne Chandok. Zippy. Hey! Tim at Mardug! There he is! Jackson, this is finding <laughs> Jackson, this is finding his way into a butler Ackerman sandwich. Oh, but it's Ackerman who takes the fall. Yeah, I'd be a bit put out if you're off of Casper. Yeah, I would be as well. Right. First race in the books. Yada yada yada. Interview photo shoot, blah 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 blah. Another 500 XP, that'll do nicely. And I think I'll I think I'll call it there. Because I'm focus I'm gonna start focusing on getting some uh, podium pass stuff done. And we'll uh, we'll take it from there. In the meantime, hope you guys enjoyed this first part of Breaking Point. If you did, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to be a dream chaser like myself, hit the subscribe button. Down at the Click the bell to join the dream chasers notifications plus you don't miss anything I do on this channel. Next time, we're going to be into chapter two of Breaking Point. We'll see where this takes us. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.